Okay, here's a quick overview of the Hydra 2. It has uh, a three component optical cell. The optical cells are easily removed and cleaned for placement. Light from the lamp passes through the optical cell, off a mirror, off a mirror, back through the optical cell, through a short cell located back here, and into the detector. Um, the sample is mixed with stannous chloride. Auto sampler comes along, picks up sample, mixes the two together. Peristaltic pump carries the two of them through into the gas liquid separator. Same kind of gas liquid separator that we had before with the Hydra AA. And uh, it brings in argon gas to bubble through the solution. That uh, clears the mercury from the solution and carries the mercury up through the serpentine path and into the optical cells for analysis. Uh, it has a lot larger capacity. It has uh, capacity for three sample racks, each one holding uh, a maximum of 90 samples. Uh, the one that we sell originally is a 60 sample rack for a, a uh, 180 sample capacity. It has a special uh, standards rack. Standards rack has two large locations for continuing calibration solutions as well as um, 10 other locations for the standard and the built-in wind station. The built-in wind station is easily removed and can be cleaned, separated and cleaned, returned. And it has its own standalone peristaltic pump for uh, re refilling the wind station. Hydro 2AA has a modular design which allows for overnight replacement of the components. It has uh, four major components. First I'll remove the auto sample tray. And access, remove the auto sample with a single screw here. You can remove the single screw here, it takes out the pump, whole unit slides forward, screw here removes the pump. Then a quarter turn on this quick release uh, knob removes the sample process pin. Finally, on the spectrometer, two thumb screws remove the spectrometer. So one, two, three, four key components to the system. Any one can be overnighted uh, to a customer for a quick repair for the next day. Right now we're going through the sample rinse cycle. The system software will be monitoring this rinse signal until it reaches uh, a stable value and, that, and that's uh, part of the smart rinse routine. You can see the peristaltic pump running in the background which is supplying fresh solution to the rinse station at this point in time. The sample cycle starts with the rinse section itself Now the sample is moved to the sample, and you notice in the off to the side the peristaltic pump filling the rinse station is now stopped as the as the probe is in the sample solution. It's bringing the sample solution up through the peristaltic pump, mixing it with reducing agent, bringing it into the gas liquid separator, fills this portion which is the reaction cell, and we bubble in argon through the through the solution. The end of analysis, it returns to the home position, starts rinsing again.